is Wi-Fi not working on your iPhone but working on other devices if that is the case then you don't have to worry as in this video I'm going to show you five different ways to fix it without erasing your iPhone data and that is coming up all right as you can see here I have an iPhone with Wi-Fi problem the problem with this phone is as you can see it doesn't find any Wi-Fi network even when I turn on and off the airplane mode see it just keeps spinning spinning and spinning and on the other side my other devices finds and connects to our Wi-Fi network see but this one doesn't find any Wi-Fi network to get connected all right our first method is force restarting the iPhone to do that press volume up volume down and then keep press and holding the power button just keep press and holding the power button until your phone restarts by itself when your phone is restarted just swipe up and check if your Wi-Fi is working or not see it's still not working so don't worry just keep watching the video and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix your Wi-Fi problem all right now let me show you the second method Our second method is resetting your network settings. To do that, first of all, head over to your iPhone settings, then scroll down, select general, again scroll all the way down, tap on transfer or reset iPhone, then tap on reset, and from here make sure you select reset network settings. Click on this option once again, and then wait for your iPhone to restart. Once your iPhone is restarted, all the settings related to network will be reset that hopefully will fix your iPhone's Wi-Fi problem. So let's see what happens. Once your iPhone is restarted, just swipe up, go to settings, and see if your Wi-Fi is working or not. Nope, as you can see, the Wi-Fi is still not working. Okay, now let me show you the third method. Our third method is using a software. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer, and after that, you need a software called iMovie any fix which you can get from the link given in the video description below so just click on free download and install the software into your windows or mac computer after the installation open it up once open click on repair now under system repair as you can see with this software you can fix all kind of problems that are listed here all right so just click on start now then you will have three options to fix your iphone problem the first option is standard repair. If you select this option, then the software will not erase your iPhone data. The second and last option will erase your iPhone data. So in this case, I'm not going to erase my iPhone data. So I'm going to go with the first one, then click on standard repair option. Next, you need to get your phone into recovery mode. This software gives instructions for all iPhone models. In order to put your phone into recovery mode, first of all, connect it to your computer using a USB cable. Then quickly press volume up, volume down, and then keep press and holding the power button. Just keep press and holding the power button. Your device will turn off. You have to press and hold the power button until you get into this screen. When you get into the screen, just release the power button and put your phone aside. Okay, now on your computer, this screen will pop up. Now you have to download latest version of iOS for your device, which is also called firmware. So as you can see, my iPhone is iPhone X and it's suggesting me to download iOS version 16.7. In your case, it will be different depending on what model of iPhone you are using. Now, there are two ways to download the firmware. The first option is downloading the firmware through the software. If you click on download, then it will start downloading the firmware automatically. The second option is downloading the firmware through a browser. If you want to download the firmware through a browser, Click on this link which will open up your default browser and it will start downloading the firmware automatically as you can see so i'm just going to cancel it because i already have the firmware okay in order to add the firmware to the software click on the second link select the firmware if you download the firmware through software then you don't have to do this step once your firmware is added wait for the software to recognize your firmware once the firmware is added, just click on this green button 
and then wait for the software to fix your iPhone's Wi-Fi problem. This entire process takes around 10 minutes max. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? For you, like and share is just a matter of clicks, but for me, it means a lot. So thank you so, so much if you do. Once the repairing process is completed, the software will give you this message. So just click on OK and close it because you no longer need the software. All right, on the other side, now you can disconnect your iPhone and see if Wi-Fi is working or not. So let's see. As you can see, now my iPhone is finding Wi-Fi network and also I should have all my files. So as you can see, these are my apps and let's go to photos. As you can see, these are all the photos that I had on this iPhone. Okay, now let me show you the fourth method. Our fourth method is turning off screen time. Screen time is a feature on Apple devices that restricts many functionality of your device. So turning it off may help you fix your iPhone's Wi-Fi problem. In order to turn it off, head over to your phone settings, then select screen time, then scroll all the way down and tap on turn off screen time. And again, click on turn off. Once it's turned off, go back and check if your Wi-Fi is working or not. As you can see, my phone is now finding Wi-Fi network because of the software I used on the third method. So I hope this method worked for you. Our fifth and last method is contacting Apple. If you already tried all the methods shown in the video and none of them was helpful to you, then your iPhone might have a serious hardware issue and you have two options to fix it. First, take your phone to a repairing shop. Second, contact Apple. I recommend you to contact Apple before taking your phone to a repairing shop because these days, most repairing shops do is they replace original parts of your iPhone with the fake ones and obviously who wants that, right? So that's why I recommend you to contact Apple before taking your phone to a repairing shop. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Bye.